Where you, what do you want to eat tonight? Wantan mee. What? Wantan mee. Your birthday you eat wantan mee again? Ah? <laughs> Every day wantan mee. Okay, dinner time, boy. You still eat one hand me. I just want to ask you, you said you want to eat one hand me. Ah. No, I eat. What? Steak. You need steak. <laughs> I don't eat steak for a long time. Oh, you haven't steak for a long time. Okay, okay. So, this is birthday. La. He, he, he can choose what he wants to eat. So, we're going to eat half steak tonight. Come on. We're going to town to have some good steak. <laughs> okay, bucker, bucker. Let's go. Okay lah guys, here we are. This is Lorong Muntri. It's uh, off Penang Road and uh, Leaf Street lah. So it's a very nice street around here. Uh, small cafes and restaurants. So Emily's is actually a, a family restaurant owned by a lady and her husband. Lah. She's from Penang. And I think he's from Hong Kong and they were living in the UK and uh, they opened this restaurant here as the second one. So there's quite a lot of uh, Choices here from, from Angus to Wagyu beef, you can choose. And also you can choose the surf and turf option, which is additional like tiger prawns, crabs, salmon. They also have a kids menu, if your kids want to order sets by themselves. There's, oh, there's fish and chips for kids, one, 28 ringgit, quite, quite good deal as well. But you can order the, the full the traditional fish and chips, 48. I think that one's quite good. The size lah, kids one smaller. <laughs> Rip eye steak burger, thirty eight ringgit. Hey, pretty good. <laughs> hungry? <laughs> Isaac, are you hungry? Super duper hungry. <laughs> so it's interesting to come here and eat lah. I mean, this is a, <laughs> a British style steakhouse lah. But they, they, they opened actually the first uh, steakhouse in Derby, in England. Uh. And then, uh, because the lady owner is also from Penang, I think she came over to open uh, another branch in Penang, Malaysia. And now they have another two more branches, actually in Ipoh and uh, I think in KL. <laughs> so I guess it's doing quite well. So it's interesting to come to uh, steakhouse in Penang. I mean, usually we always go out and have uh, like hawker food. There's <laughs> so much hawker food to eat, but once in a while, this is a good change. Uh, and it's good to know that there's such a nice place here in uh, Penang, which you can just go to if your if your taste buds have a certain requirement one day. <laughs> and also today is uh, Isaac's birthday, uh, so he requested to have this. Why you, you remember this morning he, when I asked him another eat wonton mee? <laughs> That's why I have so many wonton mee videos. The kids really love wonton mee. Ah, okay. It's beef soup, is it? Yeah, beef stew. Oh, beef stew. Okay, great. Thank you. Good. Mm, yeah. Now what are you eating? <laughs> so the food came quite quickly. Uh. Let me try the. I'll try the. We are going to eat it family style. Everybody is trying. I'm thinking the fish and chips first. Very crisp, crispy, better. Mmm. I think it's pilaf mea. So I ordered a medium rare steak. You can see the. Medium rare. <laughs> Real cool, huh? Oh, and by the way, the steaks here are, are grilled on charcoal. So there's a very distinct smoky, smoky flavor to it. Mm. And it's, it's not overly salted. If you prefer more salt, you can order 
Oh, some more salt. It comes with uh, black pepper sauce. Mm. My God. <laughs> The fish, eh? I love the fish. Mm. So, actually, there's a very funny story la, talking about fish and chips, right? When we were in New Zealand, we used to eat fish and chips quite often la, to this, uh, this uh, Takakuna morning market. <laughs> then, uh, I, our friend Elsa used to uh, ask me to buy for her cotton candy. <laughs> and then at that time, I wasn't working, yet, so I told her. Okay, when Daddy has a job in New Zealand, she can have her, I'll buy for her the cotton candy. Lah. But before that, we have to be very, we have to save for money. Ah. <laughs> so, there, so my first, the first job I got was at this uh, a night, night job. Lah. I know, so doing sorting at the post office. So what happened was, I worked from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. in the morning. And carrying a lot of uh, stuff from the doing the sorting uh, at this uh, at the post office, so they will carry bring in the goods, and then we will separate them into the different addresses. After that, the <laughs> next, I did my eight hours. I went home and I slept for I think more than twelve hours. <laughs> so, yeah. So actually, at first when we when I first got offered a job, I told her, "Hey, after I get paid, we can go and have cotton candy." So, but unfortunately, that job only lasted one day, lah, because next day my whole body was aching, too old already, cannot do this job. <laughs> I told the kids, "Sorry, daddy." It was, it was such a sad thing, you know, to tell the the kids were so disappointed. I feel that I really let them down, lah. But you know, fifty years old already, right? you want to go and carry all this. 20, 30 kilograms of stuff around. <laughs> so in the end, we went to the hardware store, right? The Bunnings at the counter, they have like free lollipop candy. <laughs> Just took one or two and gave to the kids for free. <laughs> My favorite is so yummy. <laughs> so I have to finish. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so you can, you can see how we finished almost everything. <laughs> Everything we ordered, we finished, except for a little, like three quarters of the bucket of fries. So we'll probably take that away. <laughs> and our dessert, apple crumble with ice cream. Okay, birthday boy, here's your special dessert. Happy birthday Okay, eat ice cream. Thank you, Daddy. You know, apple crumble. Welcome. I don't like it. I love it. Ah, Daddy. Why you like it? So this this uh, little street here actually is quite unique. Ah, you can see the architecture of the buildings here. They are preserved well, and also um, the decor inside is very nostalgic. Ah. Most of the places here. Okay, lah, guys. So that's that's my son's birthday, lah. Birthday meal today. Something different, lah, from the normal hawker style. <laughs> So thanks a lot for watching guys. See you again in the next one. Very full. Going home. Bye bye.